Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the sub threshold loop, which is a commonly asked interview question. We know that uh, from VI characteristics, uh, I'm sorry. We know that from VI characteristics, the current IDS versus the VGS, the plot is something of this kind, where the current increases exponentially starting from the voltage VTH, which is called as the threshold voltage of a MOSFET. The current which is below VG is equal to VG is less than VTH is zero. Okay. But actually in reality, the current for the voltage lesser than VTH, it actually reduces exponentially. It, it doesn't actually become zero it actually reduces exponentially. So if I just represent the same diagram by plotting the current in log scale, uh, it will look something like this. Let this be my VTH. If this is my point VTH, so the current above VTH is more or less a constant, which is called as the on current. And below VTH, the current actually falls exponentially. And because I am plotting the current in log scale, we actually see some kind of slope over here. Okay. Now if you notice, even though, even though the gate voltage is zero here, we have some constant current that is called as the off current of the MOSFET. Okay. Now this term, which is commonly used, that is what is the ratio of the on current to off current? Ideally speaking, we do not want any current to flow when the gate voltage is zero. But notice that because of this slope, which is called as the sub threshold slope, we have some constant uh, off current also. Okay. Uh, let's assume that in on current is somewhere in uh, milliamperes. This can be the off current. Let's say it is in some uh, nanoamperes. Okay then the on is to off is 10 raised to 6 which is actually a very good number we want this uh, ion by uh, i of to be a very large value and this sub threshold slope will decide where this is going to cut the y axis for example we know that with decreasing technology our vth is also decreasing okay but with technology the sub threshold slope doesn't change now let's say that for lower technology VTH is somewhere here. So for that we know that the on current is almost the same. But if you see the off current because of the constant sub threshold slope, we actually now have a we have a very high off current. Therefore our I on by I off reduces. So the sub threshold slope is a very important factor to consider. Mathematically, the sub threshold slope is given by 60 into 1 plus CD whole divided by C ox, where CD is the depletion capacitance and COX is the gate capacitance per unit area. And lesser is this value, steeper will be this curve. And actually, we want a curve which is more steep because a steeper curve or a steeper slope will give us less off current. For example, let's say if it is more steep like this, we have a lesser off current. So how to how do we reduce this uh, sub threshold slope? That is, we have to reduce this yes. We can reduce this yes by reducing the depletion capacitance or by increasing the gate capacitance. Okay, these are the two uh, these are the two parameters where we can play with and uh, get a very good sub threshold slope. Let me just rewrite the formula for uh, the sub threshold slope, which is 60 into 1 plus the depletion capacitance into the oxide capacitance. Now, how can we reduce uh, this depletion capacitance? Depletion capacitance, if I just show you the diagram of a MOSFET, okay, this is let's say a NMOS where this is my diffusions. We know that because this is a p substrate we have a depletion layer between these two so this is the depletion capacitance this capacitance which is created is the depletion capacitance 
now how to bring down this value to bring down this value i must actually increase the depletion width because we know that the capacitance is inversely proportional to the width of the depletion so if we increase the dip, uh, width of the depletion layer we will get very low depletion capacitance now with the advancement of technology we have something called as silicon and insulator which is called as soi what actually is done here is there is a n plus uh, diffusion here and uh, below that we actually have a insulator this entire thing is a insulator okay so this entire thing is a insulator over here because below uh, n plus there is a insulating layer so the region from here to here is the depletion layer thickness or the width so if you notice that it is a very high value therefore the cd is going to be very less therefore your sub threshold slope will improve and you will have a good steep curve such that we can have a very low off current like this brown color line so remember that sub threshold slope is given by this formula and as and when you go to lower technologies the sub threshold slope will actually give you a more off current and the parameter which is important is what is i on by i off and we want this to be of a very high value and to increase uh, increase this value we need to reduce cd and that can be done by increasing the width of the uh, depletion layer 